Doesn't a, doesn't sex have a very different meaning for you you're so, than well, it does for Adam? But is it a but no? You, but you're, you guys, you guys are even <laughs> doesn't. Different. To me, it's fantasy, and it's like. What does it do for you? It makes me feel immortal. And where did it come from? You think? Uh, well, I, I mean, there's Hungary, right? Somewhere uh, outside no, of no, Hungary, for her, Transylvania. For, her. for me, oh. yeah, growing oh, for yeah, me sorry. as yeah. a child, yeah. probably I started dealing with it when I was four. And my weekends were spent watching Elvira and all the vampire movies, and you know, well, what is it? But something attracted you to that? Where was that? The sensuality, the sexuality, well, having you know? this beautiful dark man with his cape come over you and bite your neck, and had somebody done something and, like that and, to well, you? No, wait, that Dracula. Age? Yeah. Had, somebody, Dracula? had somebody overpowered you? And no, I wish they had. So you never sexually abused? It never happened. No, but I started having sex when I was six. Because I was very intrigued. Okay, that is sexual. Oh, abuse. please. No, Drew. no, wait a second. I wasn't going to back up days. there with ha that. Having intercourse at six? Sure. I didn't have intercourse at six. Oh. I started having sex. Sex and intercourse is different for me. I started having the experience of sex when I was six because that's, mm -hmm. I was, I was very sensual as a child. Mm -hmm. I'm a sensual artist. Everything to me is sensual and erotic. That's it me. It feels good that's and me. it tastes good right and it here. looks good and it's. Mm -hmm. I'm a pleasure seeker. Okay, so as a child, that was very erotic to me, and it showed strength, and it showed you know the woman being entranced by the whole idea of love. What about the part where you got nailed at six? Up? I didn't get nailed at six. I got nailed at twelve. Oh, all right. Let's see that, Drew. She was the right old age of twelve. Well, but you said you're having she six. She was at double her six. 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 Well, she was she was doing erotic things at six, not having intercourse, right? Exactly. Like what? What kind of erotic things? We we. Like some six-year-old. I, I would always like take the boys and the girls. We'd be, be playing, right? And we, I'd try to like you know round them up to, for role plays, you right? Know? Would you would expose yourself to the boys and stuff? No, I'd make them pull down their pants right, first. Right, 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 right. There, there was something going on in your home at that point. I mean, that, that's what kids. Freedom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Neglect. No, <laughs> I'd agree with you. All right. Yeah. Well, listen. Uh, this is. Uh, I'll tell you, Drew. I've said it many times. It takes all. Kinds. It takes all. Time. It takes all that's kinds. Just, does. All right, let's, let's talk to a woman. That's a saying I'm trying to bring back. Mm -hmm. If you guys could work that into your uh, vampire How world. How about you filthy animal? No, that's around. <laughs> it takes all kinds as a neglected one from the 50s and uh, to the tune of when you're talking about money. That's another thing I'd like to bring back into the American lexicon. So you guys do your part. Not, not necessarily on this show, but later on in life. You know what I'm saying? Keep to the tune of and it takes all kinds.